。呃，本次直播由企业导师技术和隐性知识管理领军服务商蒙科 m e n t r i n k o 和欧洲导师与教练协会 EMCC 联合主办。今晚我们迎来百场系列讲座的第七十一讲。我们特地邀请了来自意大利的 Chiara Zebini 女士和 Alessandro p i c o r a l l o 先生。他们给我们带来的话题是 ENCC 导师教练能能力评估体系，从初级到高级，再至大师级的华丽蜕变。那在正式开讲之前呢，请允许我简单为大家介绍一下今天的演讲嘉宾。那首先，我们 k a r a 女士，她呢有在多年的房地产领域的经验，然后在那之后呢，她开启了她的导师教练职业生涯。他是 EMCC 认证的高级导师教练，之后呢，他开启了他的导师教练职业生涯。他擅长沟通、销售和谈判技巧，致力于和企业家及领导者合作，帮助他们提升他们的领导力、管理能力，还有团队凝聚力等等。那他在2019年创立了 Coaching You 导师教练学院，集结了一批优秀的个人和组织发展专家，那形成了一套。符合国际标准和 EMCC 道德准准则的服务模式，啊，为客户提供了高效优质的服务。那 a l e s a n d r o 先生，他原本他最初呢是其实是大学教授，那后来呢他转战到企业界，在长达三十多年的时间里，他在多家跨国公司担任过重要职位，包括雅虎意大利的首席执行官和董事总经理。以及英国电信的传播与公共事务总监。那他在二零一四年的时候转型成为教练。那他是 EMCC 认证的高级导师、教练和督导。那他的教练方法呢，也是别特别的，就是别出心裁，而且这个风格呢，非常适合那些敢于挑战、不畏失败的领导者。那他现在还是 EMCC 意大利的总裁。有致力于提升导师教练督导行业的水准，那同时他也是 Coaching You 导师教练学院的合伙人。那稍后在嘉宾的分享过程当中呢，如果大家有任何的想法、见解和或者疑问，大家随时可以在聊天框里打出来。那我们的工作人员也会在线收集大家的问题。那在后续的问答环节，我们会尽量让大家的疑问都能得到解答。那希望大家积极踊跃的参与。那在直播结束以后，我们也会为大家提供丰富的学习资料。那所以欢迎大家就是点击右上角关注我们。那希望大家今天晚上呢也都能够有所收获。好，话不多说，让我们热烈欢迎 Kara 女士和 a l e s a n d r o 先生为我们带来精彩的演讲。Now let's warmly welcome Miss Kara and Mr. a l e s a n d r o Kiara, Alessandro, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah. I'm sharing the screen. C can I share yes. the screen? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you see the presentation correctly? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you so much for inviting us. Uh, we are uh, speaking about competence, fra uh, competence framework of uh, EMCC Global and uh, uh, how they can uh, can be the um, the pillar of our, of our practice. Uh, this is me. Uh, you you can uh, read uh, later about uh, about me and about uh, and about Alessandro. We are a professional coach. And Alessandro is also a supervisor. And uh, um, uh, our presentation uh, is about our experience in the uh, what we call uh, Coaching You Academy. That is uh, an academy uh, and a training, um, actually an onboarding tool in uh, in Coaching You. And uh, uh, since uh, in the last two years, we experienced. Uh, how it is important to um, take care of uh, the toolbox of our um, practice. So, Alessandro. Look, it, it seems like uh, 
it's like bet betting, okay? So normally the, the framework of competencies in the association is something that lay plays there, people look at it, sometimes they don't. Um, because they they think that it's only few declaration of uh, important but still principles. So our bet, our project has been to transform this in a real guide to establish and to improve the practice of our colleagues uh, through the coaching your academy and through in general how we approach uh the looking after the, the the sessions or the way that people works so what we will show you today is how we have let me say built on uh, this basics uh competence framework we have built something that can be used to improve uh, our capacity as coach Grazie. So, uh, why is it uh, so important? Which benefits uh, and how it works? We usually uh, speak, uh, uh, talk about uh, toolbox, and uh, but when we um, we speak about toolbox, uh, the focus is on the tools, on tools. But what happens when tools are not uh, uh, in, in a good uh, box? Uh, they, they are scattered, not available when, uh, they, when it's needed. So the box for us is competence framework and code of ethics, because it's this box that can uh, um, contain tools and uh, uh, let us uh, um, use tools in the good way, in the best way, um, respecting the uh, the quality, the international quality of uh, um, EMCC standards. We shine this box. So in Academy, in Coaching New Academy, we reflect on uh, capability indicators and uh, um, this reflection is about uh, how the single or every capability indicators um, can guide us uh, through the good practice. So it's not about, okay, um, self-awareness, okay, um, self-development, okay, good relation or uh, managing contract, no. How it work? How it works managing the contract um, guided by capability indicators? And it's, um, it's it's crazy because the first time you read them, uh, you can we <laughs> it's uh, our experience too. Um, we we said okay okay it's right that's good obviously. But when you reflect um, deeply, you can uh, um, appreciate how how many times you we don't um, we don't follow this indication, okay? And uh, uh, so uh, it's um, it's necessary to shine this box to reflect on this box. And uh, we shine this box through group supervision and reflection on capability indicators. The benefit we saw is uh, both for senior and for junior, because senior um, can, uh, um, can reflect uh, on their practice and improve. For junior is the good guide to start their best practice. So the benefits are very, very, uh, there are very many, many benefits. Best customer service, more self-confidence, Ban description and promotion of coaching and mentoring. I uh, don't know in China, but in Italy, 
um, often when you ask to a colleague, what is uh, coaching or mentoring, but, but uh, um, most for coaching, uh, they can explain what is not. It's not psychotherapist, it's not counseling, it's not uh, consulting, but they don't um, actually explain what we do. Reflecting on capability indicators allow colleagues to um, bet better describe and promote their service. And uh, very, very important is moving from self-declarated professionalism to international standards, because everybody uh, thinks to be a professional, of course, but um, once is, uh, if I say I'm professional, different is uh, if uh, uh, um, uh, an association is uh, as in an assessor says, I'm a professional, okay? What happens, Alessandro, without uh, these toolboxes? Uh, we call this uh, process the vicious circle. Um, it, if you don't practice enough, I'm not talking about the 10,000 hour rule, but still, if you don't practice enough, and in example, you decide to focus your timetable on new courses about coaching, mentoring, etc. Uh, what happens is a risk of uh, self-confidence, okay? Uh, a risk of uh, fear of the market. Uh, so again, you have only a few customers. As a result, you have a lack of practice and the vicious circle goes around. And this is honestly, what we see uh, permanently in uh, in uh, through our Italian colleagues, okay? A lot of them has an enormous capacity to learn new concepts, uh, new theories, etc. but they lack dramatically about practice. At the end, coaching is a practice. And if you don't practice enough, you will give up and mostly you will not evolve, you will not improve your practice. And this is something fundamental. And one of the reasons why we have built this uh, academy, which is based of course on the ethical code, of course on the uh, framework of competence and the related indicators, but it's also based on a strict analysis of the practice. Vai, Chiara. Sì. Vai tu. Ah, ok. So, uh, the attending solution, uh, when people are in this um, vicious circle, uh, as uh, Alessandro said, is uh, add another training and having an, some new tools. But in this way, tools still um, are only notions and therefore they remain unused. Uh, I don't know um, about you, but uh, if I think uh, my past years, I I trained, I um, have been enjoying many schools uh, of coaching, many training, but uh, the feeling is uh, uh, where was uh, always of luck, something I I miss, and in that way. I didn't increase the number of customers, results, frustration, and lack of confidence. And getting more and more and more and more tools without practicing, um, I remain in the vicious circle. Solution for us in is leverage on EMCC competence framework and code of ethics. In this way, Coaching theory, classroom supervision, group supervision about you and chemistry training. This is how we leverage on EMCC framework, competence framework and code of ethics. Um, reflecting on theory, practicing on classroom, uh, that is uh, uh, 
um, a, a real session uh, um, about, uh, with the, a coach and a coachee, they are colleagues, of course, and then uh, other colleagues uh, give feedback, uh, leaded by a supervisor, of course, and uh, then group supervision, when people, where people uh, talk about their uh, session, they, um, their clients, of course, without saying the name, and and then um, another interesting thing um, that is very powerful is what we call about you. We um, about you about you is uh, such an uh, self assessment um, that uh, allow people to uh, put together their background, their their approach, uh, their passion, okay, um, their target. And then they can um, make a, a real offer about services and explain exactly what they do and uh, um, the difference between them and other colleagues. And, and another thing that we find very, very useful is uh, the training of um, chemistry. Um, I don't know how you call it uh, in Italy. Somebody called uh, zero um, zero appointment. Um, basically, is the first contact uh, you have with, uh, with your client, with uh, potential clients. And uh, a chemistry session is a session, but it's also a selling appointment, a selling um, opportunity. So. Um, if we are not trained on chemistry, the risk is that many people say, mm, I'm interesting, uh, I'll let you know, and then they disappear. In this way, um, we inverse the, the vicious circle in a virtual circle because more and good practice uh, make more self-confidence more marketing positioning, more customers, and then more and good practice, and again, and again, and again. This is uh, our pillar zone in Coaching New Academy, that is competence framework and code of ethics, practice and supervision, and ethical marketing, because marketing uh, has to be, have to be ethical. Um, without ethic, ethic uh, um, it's not marketing, it's something different for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. If uh, you have uh, any question, uh, we, we, uh, we are happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Arsenio. Thank you for the wonderful presentation about the uh, ENCC Companies framework and code of ethics, and which you are best to create the coaching academy. Yes, and we do uh, in real time. We do see a lot of questions from the audience, and maybe now let's come to the Q and A. And we've so okay. a lot many questions. Yeah. Ah, now is. Thank you. Just now, two wonderful presentations. Now is the question answer. 那大家有问题的话，可以把有问题打在聊天框里。那我们也会在线回答大家的问题。Okay, and here I have, yeah, we have collected some questions, and maybe I will some I will put them in the chat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the first question. Let me let me see. Yeah, can you share more about EMCC competence framework and the code of ethics? Yeah, actually, many people, uh, it's the first time for many people to get to know this about EMCC. So could you please explain this to them? Yeah, Alec, I do. Too. Ah, vado io? Okay. Uh, competence, uh, competence framework is uh, um, about eight, uh, competence that are the pillar of our practice from from uh, for EMCC, and uh, uh, they talk about um, uh, self awareness. The first one, self awareness. 
uh, and how um, self-awareness um, and exactly uh, how to be aware about our values, uh, uh, thought, uh, beliefs, uh, and uh, bias, uh, and how they ca can um, influence the session. Okay. Um, the second is uh, the um, improving our capability and uh, skills. So the f uh, first two uh, competence competence uh, is, um, are about. Uh, uh, our standing, our um, professional uh, improvement, uh, our CPD, so continuous program development. Um, every uh, one thing uh, um, is important. This competence, fra competence framework um, has a four level that correspond uh, to the EIA level. EIA is uh, European Individual <laughs> Accreditation. So uh, EIA is uh, um, a quality uh, awards uh, um, given to the individual, so single coach, single professional uh, mentor uh, for one-to-one um, -one session. Okay, It's not about team coaching, for example. Um, it's the, the basic uh, awards you have to do to have. And there are four levels, foundation, practitioner, senior practitioner, and master practitioner. This, um, this level, every competence, competence uh, has a, a capability indico indicator from foundation, capability indicator for, uh, for uh, practitioner or senior practitioner, uh, and for um, master practitioner. Um, it's uh, very interesting because uh, when you read them, maybe I can share it. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, it will be better. Okay, um, so let me find the English version. Just a moment. Dunque. Because I think it's another thing which is important to to say is that the framework of competence and the related indicators connected to your level are a way to show up what you are selling. Okay, so when I sell a food, I normally uh, am obliged to say exactly what is part of this food about of, of this dish okay and this do not happen does not happen with coaching uh the frame of competence is key and related indicators of course because you say to your customer look i will work on these eight points and of course i invite you i invite you to look after if i'm doing well on these things okay so you 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 will not have to answer to a, a, a customer who say, well, uh, you know my 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 uh, psychological aspect, uh, no psychological aspect because this is not part of the contract. The contract is based on me working on this eight principle or uh, competencies. If I'm good. It's okay. Otherwise, well, we can discuss that. Probably, I'm not your man or your woman. You see what I mean? Thank you, Alessandro. Um, I don't find them anymore. Really? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. You see, e e EQA, it's the um, uh, quality awards given to uh, schools and training um, from EMCC. EIA is the European Individual Accreditation. These are the four level descriptors, okay? Uh, that um, is interesting because uh, um, you can look at your um, development, okay? I'm a foundation, okay? I'm a practitioner, okay? But whatever level I am, 
Uh, how can I um, improve my level? How can I uh, become a senior practitioner? What I'm supposed to do, not only uh, how many clients, uh, how many hours of session, okay? But uh, uh, what is the capability and the standing I'm supposed to have? You see, um, understanding self or self-awareness, okay? Commitment to self-development, managing the contract. That is not what we are signing with the client, okay? Uh, we will sign the contract, of course. But uh, uh, what, uh, um, uh, which expectation, boundaries of mentoring, coaching contract, uh, um, which are the goals, uh, of the client uh, and uh, where appropriate with sponsor. Building relationship, enabling insight and learning, uh, out outcome and action orientation, uh, use of models and techniques and evaluation. These are the pillar of coaching and mentoring for MCC. And uh, um, in our experience, uh, if you um, stay on this pillar, if you build your practice on this pillar, your house will be very, very, very strong. Your practice is very, very strong. And you see, uh, um, I, I can share in chat too, okay? Uh, capability indicator. I could have, excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Understanding self, you see? Foundation capability indicators hmm, are different from practitioner and different from senior practitioner and different from master practitioner too. It's about the sophistication of your approach. And of course, it's also about a different price that you can charge to your customer. Uh, based on your on your level, okay. But again, the the thing important is that this is a transparent practice. So you put your customer in the position to follow what you are doing, also to to ask questions about what he or she do not understand. But you you still have a common ground on which you can share your journey uh, as as coach and coachee and this is really key in our vision mm? Others, otherwise the risk is that you become a sort of you know uh a sort of magician people don't understand what you do sometimes it works sometimes it do not work etc here everything is transparent yeah and when you match it uh, with uh, the global code of ethics, uh, this is a code of ethics in coaching and mentoring supervision uh, signed by, by, by the most organization in the world. So it's not the EMCC global, um, code of ethics. It's uh, the global code of ethics uh, signed by EMCC too. Um, um, saying that... Uh, um, I work, my practice is based on the code of ethics. It's a power marketing key because clients are, um, feel safe. Okay. Uh, Alessandro uh, says, we are not the musician, no, that uh, in some way speaking like um, Bo, uh, I, I don't know, uh, we make things happen, what it is. Um, I, I don't know in uh, English how do you say cartomancia, but uh, we are not witch, okay? Cartomancia is the uh, magician that uh, predicts your future through the reading of cards, you know? So okay. uh, we are not magician. We are serious and professional practitioners. And people has to understand what we do for them, what we can't do, or what we cannot do, okay? Have we answered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, thank you. It's, it's great, great, it's a great answer. Thank you. Now, okay, I will make some supplements to the audience. Yeah, now, 刚刚呢, 就第一个问题是我们, 
。呃，两位嘉宾刚刚又介绍了，就是关于这个 ENCC 能力框架跟这个 ENCC 的道德准则。那这个 ENCC 它这个能力框架呢，主要有八大类。那这个框架也是就是对应的，可以去衡量我们的导师、教练，包括督导他处在。就是哪个，比如说你的水平已经达到了哪个阶段，那这个可能有有四个，就是包含四个级别的，像比如导师、教练有基础的，有专业的，然后再到高级，再到大师级。那刚刚这个 EMC 道德准则和这个呃 EMC 这个能力框架，就是八大这个能力框架、八大能力以及这个 EMC 道德准则，那我们可以分享给大家。如果需要的话，大家可以就是联系我们的工作人员，我们可以。Uh, 免费提直接向大家提供。Okay, thank you for the answer. And the second question, second question is on the chat, in the chat, and it's it's in Chinese. And yeah, 嗯，就是第二个问题，督导和教练的区别是什么？呃、uh, ，What's the difference between supervise, supervise, supervision, and coaching? Yeah. Alessandro, well, you are supervising. I can answer very quickly. Uh, they are connected even, even more. Uh, supervision and coaching, supervision and mentoring are strictly embedded because, again, this is an issue from the coaching practice. Coaching is the only practice in the area of personal and organizational development which is not... Uh, mandatory uh, embedded with supervision. EMCC is far, uh, let me say, uh, one step uh, far from the other association because we have stated that there is no coaching, no mentoring without supervision. What is the role of the supervision? Well, it's uh, mainly three roles. The first is uh, your supervisor helps you to improve your practice through the discussion of your cases. The second is supervisor helps you to get away from, let me say, ethical dilemmas or things that you think are a bit a question mark. And the third, which is important too, is your supervisor is, uh, let me say, an emotional support when the things come to be uh, too strong, too hard. And sometimes this happens in coaching, okay? So um, again, supervision, I always recommend all the colleagues to have a supervisor, not because it's my business, but because you really can't be, can't claim to be a coach if you do not have a supervisor. Yeah. And... Um... Alessandro, do you want to explain the difference between individual supervision, uh, supervision and group supervision? Uh, it's, a, it's a very technical uh, uh, difference. Uh, the, the group supervision has been started from uh, uh, an Hungarian uh, psych psychiatrist called Balint, and it's based on uh, people who share under certain rules, we saw no judgment, no attack, but simply shares uh, opinions or, um, or understanding of what you have uh, said about your case in, uh, in coaching, okay? So they help you, they are more than one, so they help you through their experience and their sharing. Of course, uh, supervision, individual supervision is, of course, much more intense because, but it, so group supervision, we use it in the Coaching U Academy. It's very powerful to make the people grow. Yeah. Because people uh, learn and improve from the uh, other people's experience, not only from their experience. Thank you. 啊，关于第二个问题，督导教练的区别呢？我这里再简单说一下，就是我们有一句话，大家都在说的，就是没有督导的话就没有教练，也没有督导的话也没有导师，因为导督导一般他会，比如说承担三个角色角色，第一，他会帮助导师教练提升，就是他们的这个实践能力，就是他们的工作能力；第二个，他会帮助导师教练提升他们可能。
在工作中遇到了一些难题、困难，这里这个难题呢，它可能就涉及到一些道德方面的问题。那第三个就是督导，他会向这个教练提供情绪方面的支持。那同时，督导呢也分为个人督导和那个团体督导。那个人督导相对会密集一些，团体督导呢就是在就是 coaching you， 他们经常使用的就是是非常强大的一个应该说一种方式，因为是这种。在这个环境督导的这个环境里面呢，就是不存在任何的，比如说评判。那大家呢都是分享自己的呃意见经验。那一方面就是你不止不只说你自己在学习，同时你也是在向他人的经验，向他人的这个学习，就是向他人学习。这是一个可以说，同时是一个相互过相互学习，就是大家一个也是一个集思广益的这样一个氛围。哎 ，Thank you. 呃、uh, ，Let's see, sir. 刚刚那个丹丹，呃，希望不知道有没有那个回答你的问题。你可以，也可以再分享一点你的想法。好，那我们来看第三个问题。Okay, let's see the third question. <coughs> oh, it's about coach. It's about coaching you. I see. What what is the question? Yeah, can you、uh, the third quest third question is can you share any success stories from coaching you? Yeah. That... Um. Yeah. Uh. When we started the coaching academy, it was a、um, a journey. It was、uh, okay. Let's try something like that. Um. And、um, people, we、um, since the first edition, we had people from different、uh, um, level of, of experience, junior, senior, and uh, um, we had uh, some doubts, uh,、um, like uh,、um, how can senior. Uh, can stay with junior because senior uh, um, maybe wants to to speak uh, about uh, something more um, um, specialist or something like that, and uh, junior uh, will uh, understand what senior said because we had a, a gap, a, a very very big gap from junior and senior, very junior and very very senior. The musician, we we this is this was a musician, is the magic is、um, was that、uh, I was seeing that how、uh, senior uh, learned about、um, from junior and junior from senior,、um, and uh, uh, we saw、um, senior that. Uh, uh, come si dice ripassare? Alessandro, scusa, non mi viene. Get back on learning. Okay, how they get back on learning from basic and junior, how they、uh, build their practice. Um, and、uh, junior, both junior and senior improved their professional,、uh, their professional. Uh, in so fast, so fast that we were very, very surprised. I have a question from the junior、uh, to senior.、Uh, can it call the reverse mentoring or、uh, yeah? Reverse mentoring,、uh, I see, is a bit different, you know, because it's when you have a skill. And you share it with another person. In this case, we share all the range of the competences and the indicators. Because again, competences is a much more wide bucket, you know, of things. But indicators are very, very specific and also connected to your level. So everybody can find his way through connecting the indicators to the. To the framework of competence based on his approach. There is no sense for a beginner to try to practice coaching as a senior, but he can do the best and he can review 
his progresses and his improvement, looking after the the indicators that are connected to his level, his or her level. You know, indicators are 112, I think. Yeah. Uh, and so you have for every level, you have somebody to help you on connect these two things. Supervisor helps also to connect this indicator to what you're doing, what you're feeling, what you're living about the experience of coaching. And this is really key. Oh, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you for us. It's very ins it's inspiring, thank you. Okay, and we also have several other questions and I will see, let's see. Mm. Yeah, here, here it is. The question is, yeah, what challenges have you faced in implementing, implementing the framework within coaching you? Yeah. Uh, um, the the challenge is uh, about uh, staying in the framework and staying in the code of ethics because. Uh, um, for us, uh, our uh, rules, uh, not uh, only indication, our rules. And uh, uh, rules, sometimes rules are not uh, comfortable <laughs> because we'd like to, to be more flexible in some, in some way. Uh, this is, I think, the more challenges. Mm. But the benefits are so, 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 so so big, so important, that uh, um, we don't uh, feel them very uh, ch challenges because uh, we, um, we have feedback from the market too, that it's uh, the, the right road, the, the right way to, to make things. Actually, we be maybe uh, is uh, it's a good uh, good question. <laughs> I'm reflecting because the fact is that, that uh, we built the coaching you from from these fundamentals. So we we have not we have not to adapt uh, coaching you with something else. Um, the story of coaching you uh, started uh, um, five years ago. And uh, uh, at the beginning, I didn't know uh, EMCC, I didn't know the Global Code of Ethics, uh, the competence framework. And uh, um, I had the idea of uh, what we, um, what I wanted to build. But uh, I felt, every time I felt that um, uh, I was missing something. When I met uh, EMCC, and uh, um, joined the accreditation progress, uh, program process for EIA. Um, I remember uh, there was um, a day I, I said, okay, that's it. That's my pillar, that's my fundamentals. And I start again. I um, make the zero point and said, okay, from today we are doing this. Um, actually, some people, not uh, everybody follow me. Maybe this was the, the big challenges. From uh, coaching you 1.0, uh, from coaching you 2.0, maybe this is the big challenges. Thank you for this question. <laughs> wow, good answer. And uh, I, also, I also have a question. and. Uh, Coaching You Academy, did you have the Coaching You School? Because if Yeah. You... After Coaching You Academy, we built Coaching You School from, um, and Coaching You School was, uh, it, it was built from a team of Coaching You Academy, uh, six uh, coaches uh, and, uh, um, and one of them is supervisor too. And uh, uh, they, I said, uh, okay, do this. 
I'll, so I'll give you feedback. And uh, they started a coaching you, um, they built a coaching you school uh, that is the first level, a big first level because it's uh, up to 100 hours of uh, training. Uh, foundation in MCC, um, you, you can have the EQA foundation with 20 hours of, of um, training. No, no, il, la scuola, 50 ore di pratica. Ah, ok, ok, yeah. But uh, we want 100 because uh, what we saw is that um, um, in this team, um, um, had in the past many training uh, with, our, uh, with other schools. And uh, when you start something, when you uh, have to um, learn something, a practice, a complicated profession is like uh, coaching, you have to have um, fundamentals, pillars. Okay. So it's uh, a coaching new school, it's a very strong school. <laughs> um, mm. Uh, we are uh, uh, ending the first editions, and I spoke to attendees, and uh, uh, everybody said me, you told me that it would be strong, but not so much. Uh, I didn't imagine. Um, and I said, I, I said, okay, but uh, I, I, I thought you were uh, laughing. No, I'm not laughing. I, I was not laughing. I'm, I'm not joking. You want to be a coach? Okay. Yeah, it's challenging and you have to have fundamentals and pillars. Wow, thank you. I think it's a great job you've done. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, also have here have another question. And this is the question from our PCC. Let's see. I'm a PCC and I plan to launch yeah. a coaching studio to train coaching skill. What shall I keep in mind? Like that. Um, um, what shall I keep in mind? Um, I know uh, ICF has an, another framework of competence, but it's good too. It's not so different. Uh, uh, I think uh, that you have to keep in mind the uh, uh, framework of competence and practice. A lot, a lot, a lot of practice. Um, during the school, uh, the, the studio, and uh, um, um, they have to practice in the hours of um, in the session. And uh, um, after, um, out of school, they have to make a lot, a lot of practice. And uh, you could uh, um, um, give them uh, uh, marketing piles. Because I don't know in China, but in Italy, people don't know how to sell. Okay, we are not um, like in America. Americans uh, know well how to selling. Okay, how to stay in the market. In Italy, no. And uh, um, we ask them to sell during the school. Maybe not uh, with a big price. Uh, maybe with a donation, some donation to a charity. But people have to um, to learn to ask to their clients to give the right value on what they do. I, I think that is. No, oh, thank you. Ah, uh, 希望刚刚的回答呢，有就是有大家有就是有能够。就是能够让大家满意，但就是刚刚的回答，就如果大家对刚刚回答有任何反馈的话，也可以在聊天框里打出来
Thank you, thank you, Kara. Thank you, Arsenio. I think that's enough for today's Q and A. And so, okay. thank you very okay. much for your presentation, and thank you for sharing so much about what you have done, about what you have done in coaching you at coaching you both academy and school, and how you did it based on the EMCC competence framework and the EMCC code of ethics. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, too. Thank you so much. And uh, if you want to connect it, uh, to stay connected uh, on LinkedIn, I can, we can answer uh, other questions or uh, any doubts. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye very bye. Much. Thank you. Thank bye you bye. so much. Thank you. Bye. 那我们非常感谢刚才两位嘉宾的精彩分享。如果大家有任何的反馈或者任何的疑问的话，可以告诉我们。那我们本次直播呢，我们后面也提供了这个本场直播的回放以及相应的学习资料，包括这个原版的 EMCC 能力框架以及这个道德指南。那大家都可以呃向我们联系我们，然后我们的工作人员会提供给大家。那欢迎大家点击左上角关注我们。那在这里呢，我们预告一下下期的直播。那下期的这个讲座直播是在四月二十五号下周，四月二十五号的晚上的七点半到八点半。那这次的直播的主题呢是每一次磨难都是蜕变的开始。那这个主题呢是由来自荷兰的创伤后成长 PT PTG 的领域的专家 Great Vonk 女士带来的。那如果大家对本场直播感兴趣的话，可以点击左上角关注我们，然后并预约本次的讲座直播。